The whole experience of fire is a long series of discoveries. Fire is a global event. I meet many different people from different parts of the world. It's technology embedded in economics in a social context and global. Strategic News Service report began in 1995 and they went out to tech leaders and the idea was to be a predictive newsletter. Over time, no matter whether you're looking at economics or whether you're looking at science or technology or medicine, you find that these things begin to erupt from the background as patterns. And those aren't opinions, those are real. A lot of conferences before we started that we called content free. People were swapping business cards in the hallway and all the sales guys were on stage and no one was paying any attention. Uh, it was all PowerPoints and pre-scripted. There's nothing there to have, really, no content. And we thought we'd do the opposite of that. So we brought what we had been doing in the SNS newsletter, which is providing a very accurate, tested, publicly graded view of the future. If we could bring that on stage, that would be a service to people. They would actually pay attention to what was going on and they would learn something that they couldn't learn anywhere else. So we called it Future in Review because it really is the most accurate place you can go for getting a three to five year look forward. We were subscribers to SNS for a number of years, and then when SNS talked about launching this conference called FIRE, uh, we were intrigued with the name Future in Review. And right from the get-go, you could see FIRE was a different conference. I mean, how many conferences do you go to for high-tech content, where in addition to talking about hardware and software and bandwidth and all that sort of thing, you talk about saving the orca whale? Where else do you get investment bankers computer science professors, people who are leading ocean expeditions. When you find things that are important to do, you do them. We do look to improve the world, but it's not kind of a goody two-shoes way. It's kind of like, look, the ship's sinking. Maybe we should patch the hole in the ship. 